Son of a gumption. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Timmy G's Unboxing Stuff. And stuff. Today we are unboxing yet another, no, this is not from Home Depot. This is another $100 box from Don't Eat the Gum. That's right. If you don't know about Don't Eat the Gum, Don't Eat the Gum is a rad non-subscription mystery box service run by Kevin Kennedy specializing in horror and sci-fi. Unlike most mystery boxes, one, it's not a month-to-month -month thing. Whenever you want a box, you just go on your web on the website and you order it. Two, it's catered to you. You fill out the notes section with movies that you love, things that you're into. Uh, you know, you can request to get certain items or request not to get certain types of items. And unlike the uh, catered boxes uh, that we've seen in the past, uh, you know, you don't have to sit there and wait two, three, four, five months to a year to get your box. You know, usually within a two-week window, mine usually gets uh, takes a little bit longer because I've ordered so many boxes that he has to, you know, basically sit through a photo family photo album of stuff that he's put in my boxes before. He always takes pictures of the stuff that he's getting ready to put in your box so that he can make sure if you order another box that he's not gonna send you duplicates. So that's really awesome. He takes the time, uh, you know, and puts together an awesome box. I've never got a disappointing box. Uh, you know, if you go back and watch my videos, I know a lot of my older videos I'm even more sleepy or uh, yeah, yeah, than I am today. Uh, but, you know, sit through it and watch them. You'll see every box has been nothing short of awesome. And I know that this one is going to be too. So I hope I didn't leave out any details. But, you know, go check out the website. Uh, hit him up on Facebook if you've got any more questions, you know, or you want to, you know, ask him about certain themes or certain items uh you know whatever he's really responsive hit him up on facebook order a box through the website you won't be disappointed i promise you so let's not waste any time let's get up in kevin's box timmy g's unboxing stuff and stuff he's unboxing stuff and stuff please send me some stuff Cut open my Home Depot stuff. And, uh, I don't think Kevin would have sent me shelves or anything like that. But I could use some more shelves, so that would be welcome, actually. <laughs> but, uh, so we're just going to cut open the top part here, and then we'll be inside. And when we open up my box, <laughs> this is what we're going to see. You see a great big Bigfoot sign on the top. So right off the bat, <laughs> we've got this awesome Bigfoot area sign. Warning, Bigfoot area, stay on marked trails. <laughs> I do have a slightly larger than normal foot. So, I am Bigfoot. Not quite Shackfoot, but I am Bigfoot. So, watch where you step, fools. So, there is a uh, couple details I forgot to mention. I believe with the $50 and $100 boxes, he always includes a uh, thank you card, a handwritten thank you card, an awesome touch and uh, filled with other little cards and stickers and stuff. And uh, we always save that for last because sometimes there's spoilers in it. And it's just a good uh, experience, you know, going through the box and then getting to uh, the card at the end and the goodie bags. Um, so we've got something marked meow. So we'll hold that off uh, for now. And uh, we've got something here wrapped it and ah awesome we got drinkware and we have got ah we have got 
an awesome little Boba Fett and Han Solo battling out coffee mug. And uh, that is friggin' great. I love my drinkware. If you've watched my videos, you know. And uh, I'm a big time coffee drinker too. So that is fucking great right there. And so it looks like we've got a couple of framed pictures. We always get uh, a framed picture in the box. This month it looks like we got two. And let's see, the first one is, ah, we have got new school Pennywise. That's awesome. Feasting on, uh, I guess he's feasting on Georgie's hand there. Poor Georgie. Toot toot, SS Georgie. And framed picture number two. <laughs> We've been going kind of Chucky Wild here lately. And we got some more Chuck here. Anybody want to play Hide the Soul? Heidi ho! Ha 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 ha. That is fucking great right there, too. That is awesome. And I do believe that this is a McFarlane uh, Michael Myers right here, which is awesome. Yeah, it is. Let's see. I don't have uh, a whole lot of Michael Myers figures. I've got the uh, 2018 uh, Ultimate NECA and the Living Dead dolls and the uh, little, uh, what do you call it, little uh, Funko Savage World Michael Myers. <laughs> So that is great right there. Now I've got, I think, this is like my third or fourth McFarlane figure. Uh, so that is awesome right there. Love Michael Myers. And uh, McFarlane and NECA make just hands down, I think, the best. Uh, well, the, <laughs> the best sub $50 figures i'll say uh because the um what is it the mezco 112 figures they can't be touched but you know for but those are like almost a hundred dollars a piece so the mcfarlane and the neca figures man are just great and so it looks like we've got oh wow this is a uh, cthulhu Oh, this is hella cool right here. I wasn't quite sure. I knew that this was Cthulhu, but I wasn't quite sure, uh, you know, why it was uh, like if I was supposed to paint this or something. But no, this is actually a glow-in-the-dark uh, Cthulhu right here. That is friggin' great. Uh, so just so you can see it, there's the back right there you got the full spine and everything uh lined up and then uh there's the little uh what do you call those uh the little symbols from the 50 names of marduk i think rune stones whatever but then uh there's the little sticker on the bottom that tells us it glows in the dark so that is awesome glow in the dark cthulhu idol vinyl figural bank oh i didn't realize it was a bank so cool i could put on my little yeah there's the little coin slot right there i'm so stupid <coughs> i can't believe i missed that that is awesome cthulhu has cthulhu called you lately So still got a few things down there, uh, the goodie bags and a, a tin and a book and some magazines. But before we get to that, we're going to check out this meow bag. I'm uh, guessing this is something for Patrick here, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Patrick is going to be very happy about this. Oh, cool. Patrick loves <laughs> his little laser pointer. And it just so happens that he has just died. So that is awesome timing right there, boy, I'll tell you what. And we haven't tried this flavor yet, but uh, 
Mr. P loves his temptations. I'm not going to say the T-R-E-A-T-S word uh, because he knows that word and I just gave him some. But <laughs> this will be his uh, snacks <laughs> for tomorrow for sure. We'll definitely try those out. I thank you. Mr. P, thanks you, Kevin. That is awesome. And so now here is that uh, book we've got. Ooh, Stories from the Twilight Zone by Rod Sterling. That is awesome. I'm not going to uh, take it out of the bag just right now, but uh, that is awesome. The, the Twilight Zone was obviously, you know, one of the greatest shows ever. Now, not just for its time. But, you know, at most of those episodes still stand up well today. And uh, The Living Doll was my favorite. But, you know, there was a couple episodes that were hit or miss, you know. But, uh, like the one with the grandfather clock. Uh, but, you know. Speaking of The Twilight Zone... We've got a Twilight Zone comic book here, number three. And uh, behind that, we've got an old school, uh, what is it, EC? I want to say ECW comics, but <laughs> I'll show you that here in a second. But here's the, the uh, Twilight Zone comic book. And then behind that, we've got an old ECW <laughs> Tales from the Crypt comic book. That is awesome. Love our comic books. Love Twilight Zone. Love Tales from the Crypt. And uh, we've got a couple magazines, a couple Fangorias here too. So Fangoria with Jason on the cover and it's uh, Friday the 13th, 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. And it says we've got 10 gruesome foldouts. So that is going to be awesome. And uh, let's see, here's the other thing. Oh, no, this one is a gore zone. Excuse me. Uh, so, yeah. There is the gore zone. Gore! So this box, we've actually got a goodie tin and a goodie bag. So there's a, a couple little things fell out of the goodie tin. But that's cool. I'm going to show you this tin though first because we got a little uh, Tar Man Don't Eat the Gum sticker on the front of it. That is awesome. And uh, then that was the other, that was one of the other details that I for forgot to mention is that uh, every $100 box you get a couple of these little goodie bags. So, you know, you don't just get all this other cool stuff that we've gone through, you know. You get these uh, bunch of little small stuff down in the goodie, uh, goodie bags or goodie tin. Last month, I think, uh, was in a, actually inside of a ten, uh, Texas chainsaw lunchbox. That was awesome, and uh, you know, it's just a gr awesome, fun, great experience going through each box. So uh, let's go ahead and. I'm just going to dump my goodies out on the table without zooming back out because I'll just have to end up zooming back in. And so to start off with, we got a few stickers here. Aha! Awesome! We have got an Ernest Goes to Hell sticker. I love these prison style uh, stickers. And we've got a sticker from Basket Krang. HorribleHomeVideo.com I have to go check them out. And, ah, oh, shit. We got a... <laughs> Chud McKenzie. Uh, what was it? Cannibal Humanoid Underground Dweller. <laughs> McKenzie. So that is awesome. We've got a... Uh, we get a bunch of these pretty much every month. And uh, I'm not complaining about it one bit because I love them. We got these little cards inside of cases with magnets on them. So 
they're basically like little card magnets and if you do end up getting duplicates uh, across multiple boxes it's cool because you can take other cards out and uh, put them in place of it so that's always awesome and uh, so we got grandpa right there we got hippy skippy hippy skippy <laughs> and we got uh, horny how <laughs> we got live mic so far these all kind of suit me or describe me <laughs> and yep and yicky mickey <laughs> that is awesome right there and we got let's see is the rest of this candy looks like it yeah so the rest of this uh, tin is candy We've got a mini sour carnival pop, 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 pop. Yeah, we've got a uh, white mystery airhead. We've got a cherry airhead for the airhead. We got a colossal sour. We got. Jaw Buster. I think these are the chewy ones. I'm not sure. I'll find out for sure. We got some chewy now and laterish. Well, three pieces here. We got, let's see, we got three pieces of Super Bubble Hubble Double Lubble. We got Let's see, are these the, uh, yeah, we got three of the, oh, well this, we got two, <laughs> was it Sour Baby or Cry Baby uh, chewing gum? Those are awesome. I love these things. And we've got a trolley sour gummy cruncher thing, candy. And we got like a whole bunch of pops here. We got... Uh, ch so two charms, mini pops, two charms, mini pops. We got two war. It looks like warheads, I think. Uh, little poppers, pops, pop, 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 pop. And we got a couple dum dums for the dum dum. We got coconut and one of my favorite all time flavors, root beer. And that's just the first thing of goodies. Now we've got the actual goodie bag to go through. And uh, then after that, we've still got that handwritten thank you note. So as usual, we're just going to dump her out on the table here. <laughs> and so we got several packs here of uh, unopened cards. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Toyotas. Oh, awesome. Tales from the Crypt uh, Keeper. And we got Bill and Ted's most excellent atypical movie cards. And of course, we've got our Beetlejuice, the animated series. Love our Beetlejuice. Dinosaurs Attack. Toma Night or Two. He'll be back. And we got Nanu Nanu. Mork and Mendy. And we got a few buttons here. We got a, I think that's Dawn of the Dead. And we got, <laughs> looks like maggots, Michael. How are those maggots, Michael? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we got another Be Kind Rewind. Be kind, rewind, like on the old VHS tapes back in the day. And I think that was a movie, too. But we got Michael Mears, or Michael Myers. <laughs> and, ah, and we've got Daryl Dixon. I'm about to shoot you with the crossbow, dude. And finally, we've got the candy from that bag. 
We got some trolley sour bright gummy bears. We got trolley sour bite mini crawlers. And we got more sour bright trolley crawler minis. Then we got some, ooh, haven't tried these yet. Sweet tart chewies. Haven't tried those. We're going to have to uh, eat them up right after I smoke this blunt. Oh, and we got a, another trolley sour gummy cruncher thing. And finally, we are down to that thank you card. It says, Timmy, caution. You probably want to stand a little bit away because my shit stank. <laughs> and on the back, he says, the, uh, an apple, he says, that banana ain't got shit on me. You hear? You hear? <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> right there. So... Before I read you the card, let's open it up and show you and take a look at those uh, little cards inside the card at Harvard Yard. Ah, we got a Freddy Fright Flicks cover here. We got a, let's see, the Serpent. We got an Animaniacs, Animaniacs, dude, slappy was that slappy bombs slappy bombs ah we got star lovers good thing she ended up with Hans cause that might have been awkward <laughs> with Luke <laughs> we got super crypt keeper then we got ooh this looks like uh Bernie Wrightson right here. And yes, it is. That's a Bernie Wrightson right there. Bernie Wrightson is friggin' great. And, ooh. We got a naked lady. First love. Mmm. I love fairy girls. And we got a Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So uh, before I zoom out and actually read you the card, here is the card up close. And uh, just so you can see, there's the writing on the inside. Don't pause it and read it yet because I haven't read it yet. And that wouldn't be right if you read it before me. But <laughs> it says, Timmy, you magnificent bastard. Thank you for being an amazing customer. I hope this box shows how much I appreciate everything you do for Don't Eat the Gum. Your posters in this box came in the form of that rare Fangoria issue, and that Cthulhu bank glows very well. Scared the shit out of me when I walked into the office the other day. Take care, Kevin. P.S. I hope Mr. Patrick enjoys his treats and lasers. Pew pew! <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. He definitely will. Yeah, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, another awesome box. It always is. Uh, you know, don't eat the gum. Never disappoints, you know. Going through this box isn't just getting a bunch of stuff, cool stuff in a box. This is an experience, uh, you know. Going through, I, l I love, you know, my little system for going through. I try to hit the big stuff first and then, you know, get down to the little small uh, knick-knack stuff. It's just so cool. And then, you know, all the way down to the handwritten thank you card at the end. You can't do any better. You really can't. The coming weeks, I'll tell you what, I have no idea what this month is going to bring uh at least for a few box a couple boxes and uh you know i've got the money for my hippie butler and daily high club but for some reason i'm my debit card isn't working with them uh there i haven't been able to get the next month fright crate yet either um, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I, uh, you know, trying to get it sorted the best I can, but 
uh, you know, I'll keep you updated. That's all I can really say about it. Uh, but I did, however, manage to get in an order for another Don't Eat the Gum Box. I uh, got in an order from Nightmare Toys. And, uh, of course, we're going to already paid for this month's Fright Crate. So we'll have that, too. Um, and, yeah, you know, I'm... Thinking about doing some more vlogs, uh, like some more serious stuff, um, but I'm undecided still how I want to handle that. Um, but I do got some stuff I want to talk about. It's just trying to figure out a way to tackle some serious subjects without getting too preachy, uh, you know. But that's a whole nother wave and a whole nother ocean, uh, you know. But I am going to do my damnedest, uh, you know, to get through and to get those boxes, uh, both from Daily High Club and Hippie Butler. And I'm going to try my damnedest if I don't miss out before I get the chance for the next Fright Crate, too. Because the next month's Fright Crate is amazing. Uh, I, it really is. I can't remember the themes off the top of my head, but they were all amazing uh, you know nothing short of amazing so thank you all once again for tuning in if you like this comment subscribe and we'll glow up in the next one timmy g's unboxing stuff and stuff he's unboxing stuff and stuff please send me some stuff son of a gum and I'm dancing like I've never danced before. Because I haven't. Mr. P be like, where you go? I mean, meow? You mean I'm going to stay this color? Three guys walk into a bar and it hurt. Ha 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 ha. Big shout out to your mom. Oh, oh. Then I asked her kindly to blow me, and she gave me a blow. Pop. Poppy don't spank me. He kicks my ass. I don't know why I tell that joke. Only people in my family are going to get that joke, but... Eh. Who wants to... Go back to bed. Hey, ladies. I'm a broken mess. Want to try to fix me? No? Well, then fuck you. <laughs> Have a drink, lady. Like Zoinks, man. I do have a, uh, uh, a Slightler. Slightler. Have you called Cthulhu lately? I'm from a different time, too, so. Gore! 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 Cods. We parked our cards in Harvard Yards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before I zoom back out to uh, read it, and you know, we're going to, uh, well, Boston got all types of cod. Freshwater cod, ocean cod, playing cod, trading cod. Ugh.